Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see Seamless Transition Pack, by AE Juice. This pack consists of 1600 plus transitions, of 16 different categories. This pack also comes with 7 days free trial version. And I am also going to have a giveaway for this pack. To enter in giveaway, you just need to like and share this video, subscribe this channel. And in the comment section, let me know why you loved this pack, and I will pick, 3 lucky winners, at the end of this month, and you will get this pack for free. So without any wait let's see the preview. To use this pack, you need to download and install, AE Juice Pack Manager. Download link for AE Juice Pack Manager, for Windows and Mac users, is provided in the description. After installing, you can see your AE Juice Pack Manager, under Windows tab. If you have already purchased this pack, then to use them, you need to log into your account, to do that, go to accounts, select login. Now enter the same email and password, you used in aejuice.com. You can see all your purchase, under the purchase tab. Select the transition pack and it will be downloaded to your machine. Ok my transition pack is downloaded and ready to use. You can see this transition pack consists of 1600 plus transitions. Which include blur transition, camera transition, displacement transition, fade transition and many more. You can use this transition pack in any project you want, now let's see how to use them. Create a new composition. I will name it as preview. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. I will set the time duration to 12 seconds. Let's add a media file to the timeline. I will trim all the media files at 3 seconds. Press Alt plus close bracket to trim layers. Now let's arrange them in sequence, you can do it manually or. Go to keyframe assistant, select sequence layer, now hit OK. Perfect. Here we will add transition at the center of these two clips. Let's try blur transition. To apply this transition, you can click on import, or you can just drag and drop this transition anywhere on the timeline. Let's see the preview. Perfect. Similarly, you can apply any transition to your video. Here you can also adjust the in and out transition speed. 
You can also increase or decrease the transition duration. Here I have selected default duration. Go to the start position of the third media file. Let's try another transition. Here I will add displacement transition. Let's see the preview. Perfect. You can also add multiple transitions. Let's add glitch transition. You can see the preview. Perfect. To remove the applied transition, you can just select the transition, and hit delete. Let's try some other transition. You can see the preview. Perfect. You can take your time, and choose the right transition, which perfectly suits your video. Let's add target zoom to our last media file. Now let's add target zoom. In target zoom, you can set the target zoom point, to zoom in, and zoom out. Click on the target icon. Here you need to select the zoom in point. Here I will select the face. Perfect, zoom in point is set, now let's set zoom out point. Now for second media file, we need to select zoom out point. Here I will select the face of old man. You can see the preview. Perfect. Let's see the preview from start. Similarly, you can add the transition to your footages. This pack is useful for all video editors, this pack helps you to save your time while editing your video. If you want to buy this pack, then the link is provided in the description. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did then make sure to like this video, and if you have any question or queries, then let me know in the comment section. Thank you.